I think Coolsville sucks. What you call an icon living? Try to make a little mismatch, just did it. Now I love you for five minutes. Oh, we have to ride in the place. I don't have a wig on today I just have like makeup and my natural hair so bear with me but when I was doing my makeup I was binge watching Ali Corbert and recently she did a video of specific love tropes that she likes and also Maddie from Maddie the Book Pusher did this video as well and I realized like there are a, I've been like acquiring this list since Maddie did it but then once Allie did hers I was like okay like I need to do one too so I'll link both of their videos down below because I really like this idea because I have some very specific tropes that I like in books okay so when a guy and a girl character they either are best friends or they 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 were best friends when they were younger but then they grow up and like something happens to where they're not really friends anymore and the book that like really like that i can give the best example for will have to be bully by penelope douglas uh, i just recently read it and i really like the idea of like them being best friends when she was younger i wish penelope douglas would have explored that more like they're like flashbacks and like all of that kind of stuff but and like gave like more stories but you know she did provide like some information in. so i would have enjoyed like if they did flashbacks but they didn't so <laughs> but i really liked the fact that they were like best friends and like something happened when two characters known each other in high school something happens and then like one character moves away and then okay so it, this can either go down two different paths so one character moves away and then they come back or one character moves away and then the other character ends up moving to the same place not realizing that the other character already lives there and they like run into each other so like you know in the end they both like run into each other and like they knew each other in high school they, they could have been best friends they could have not been best friends but they knew each other in high school and so the books i chose for this trope was vicious by lj shen and corrupt by penelope douglas they're basically the same book honestly but not really they're both like a hate to love new adult book with vicious is about this girl who parents used to work for this really rich kid so um like they went to school together and she like lived not in his house but like in her own house and then like they grow up and she moves away for a reason that's explained in the book and she moves away to new york and like when it get older him and his four friends they all start this company and each company is located in a destination and his company was actually located in LA but he switched with one of his best friends who worked in New York so he was like she was already in New York and he like ended up going there and they like ran into each other and so he ends up like hitting her up like okay like I need you to work for me to do something and I love that book so much the end was like man for me but I loved it. It's Corrupt by Penelope Douglas and I'm currently reading that right now and it's about this girl who was dating this guy and she was like infatuated with his older brother. Like not infatuated but she was just really interested in him and she was more interested in him than the brother and then like you know her and um the brother like they were like dating or whatever blah 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 blah. They ended up breaking up. I think she moves away. I think she moves away and then like she comes back and something happened when they were in high school including the older brother and three other best friends and they're all like out to get her basically and so i just like the feeling of like old memories coming back and like all of that stuff i love the one of the boys tropes i talk about it all the time like when they're everyone else in the group is platonic friends like i love that and then there's this one person who either the person is already like in love with or like they already hate i prefer to hate to love because i just love hate to love tropes but like sometimes like they'll already the girl like already have a crush on him and like i just love it this origin like this example for this would be wetpad you literally just type in one of the boys on wetpad and you will find it because but it's like <laughs> wetpad has some good story ids and good tropes they name they may not have been written the best way but their plots are amazing their characters are interesting it's just the way it's written is very corny and like it's always written in like a convenient way like something that's like always happens that's convenient for the character and it's kind of just like 
this would this ever happen in real life another example of my favorite wet pack trope would have to be when the girl is forced to move in with like this rich family and like in the family they have like a bunch of kids or like a bunch of sons and typically on Wattpad, the guy, she's always in love with two guys and two of the brothers. And one of the brothers is like, doesn't like her. And the other brother is always super sweet. I haven't read Paper Princess yet, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened in this book. If I'm correct, like that's why I bought it. I bought it because I was like, this is my favorite, like this is my favorite Wattpad trope. And I'm going to be very hurt if I read this and that doesn't happen. So <laughs> I really love female characters who are rude, who are typically supposed to be like the, the antagonists of their own stories, I guess. Characters who are like rude and like, oh, I can do this all by myself. And like, just like terrible people, basically. I'm just really tired of the whole like good girl trope because a lot of the main characters in stories are typically the same. Like they're either characters who want to be the best at everything and like I'm the best assassin ever or the characters who are like super sweet and I'm not like other girls and I don't know like this guy really thinks I'm beautiful but I don't think I'm beautiful he hasn't been interested in any other girl but he's interested in me like I'm just really tired of like those characters especially and I'm tired of like the whole in new adult because I've been reading a lot of new adult lately I've noticed that the characters are really in their teens they were like really sensitive and I was crying and then like when they get older they're like all oh, like they always have like comebacks and they're always like really sassy and like all of this stuff which i don't mind because that's basically me but it's like when you read about it a lot it gets really tiring so i like when characters are like terrible people my best example for this trope will be holly chase from the afterlife of holly chase another trope that i am just like trash for will have to be the unlikely group of people who end up like coming together and like they're put on like this task or like something happened like they end up having like work together through a situation and then in the end they become best friends like i really love this trope like, mostly i get them from movies so a movie that i watched recently that happened with this is um jumanji the remake which like don't that movie is actually really good so don't don't go there also my favorite movie with this trope is power rangers yes the one made in 2017 i'm literally trash for power rangers i love all the characters like i love that like literally like they were like there's like the like i love that they were all like different personalities like you would never think that any of these people would be best friends and then they all like become power rangers and like they're just like talking to each other and like they only think about like they only want to talk to each other and like only want to hang out with each other and i just love that i guess a book that works with this trope will be six of crows which i've read and i gave four stars i've liked it i just didn't like it as much as everyone else did they're kind of unlikely but not like much unlikely like they're all like outcasts or whatever i prefer like when there's like an outcast and like one who's popular and like one who's like really really popular and like one who's like into sports and like basically like the bre the breakfast club okay so the last trope that i have is one that shouldn't be surprising it's the hate to love trope but this time this time it's where the character like the guy character like flirts with the main girl character like he flirts with her and like he just annoys her like either like flirting with her just to annoy her or like annoying her in general like i really love like when they hate each other but like he does it because he knows that like, he can get under her skin doing it i don't have a like, book example i was watching cheetah girls last night because a video of cheetah girls resurfaced and i tweeted about how um these two characters like this they had this love interest for galleria and they never really explored it like in the rest of the movies they just had it throughout the first movie and i just love their romance and, and i love the main guy like he was so beautiful and so i was like wow i just it's really beautiful i have no books for that example i'm so sorry but usually like when characters like hate each other in books they like hate each other and like they get to the point where they're flirting but i'm talking about like starting off like he like taught like like starting off from the beginning of the book like the main character flirting with her just to irritate her or, like flirting with her just to get under her skin to like distract her from like whatever you know just like distract her yeah that's all for this video every night fucks every day every day patches the night oh god you should match it it's that no one lighters till I fuck my 20